of 50 at this party. Ooh. Oh, wow. And no yeah. veggie options? Most of the people are vegetarian, oh. but they didn't know how to get vegetarian sausages that didn't taste like ass. No. No. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I ate a sweet earth burger patty once, and I didn't really like it. <laughs> um, I like Beyond, Beyond first, and then Impossible, and then like Life is somewhere down here, and then like I'll eat Morning Star if I have to. If I have to. If I have to, yeah. Um. Okay. I think I have every stat block I need. Unless you all do something awful to me. Which is probably <laughs> likely. Yeah, it's probably likely. It's probably likely. Um, I'm getting rid of that guy because he's not doing anything. Um, so, I have rearranged you all into appropriate sleeping areas. What happened last time? Oh, we didn't throw anybody in the hole. Nobody went in the hole! They, they covered the hole, those sons of bitches. <laughs> yeah, those, those, <laughs> those bastards! <laughs> <laughs> but a, a couple of imps got out. Mm -hmm. And just ran to, ran to freedom. Yes. Uh, uh, we Killed Lismora. Ah. Finally. Ian disintegrated her. Ian dis oh. Yeah. Made sure she'd stay dead. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh yeah. so yeah, that was a thing. Um kind of freed no one from any connection to her. So mm -hmm. now no one's on our side again. I hope. Maybe. Don't you maybe me? I put a lot of effort in that in that speech. Oh yeah, the other clone yeah, ran off. Her clone got away. Oh yeah, one of the clones did get away. Number ten just left. Classic yeah. number ten. And um, yeah, we uh we just took a long rest after that. We slept. And we leveled up. Our and we level leveled this campaign. Up. <laughs> yeah, well, unless you get the super secret ending. What? What's the secret ending? What the super secret ending? It's so secret. We're getting level up. Turns out yeah, we got. We'll get one more level up if you do that one. <laughs> one more and level we do up. another session <laughs> next right, week. Guys, we save oh. here and then we just return to this point later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, it's really bold of you to think that this is a thing. This is a thing that's going to be resolved in one session. <laughs> this is not a combat that will be resolved in one session. <laughs> this is. I believe that today's session will be prepare for combat, get into combat, maybe do a round, and then. I mean, I don't know. How, how are you? How are you feeling, Jan? You feeling very emergency today, or we're very kind to us? <laughs> um. Well, I made you all super special things. I've noticed so that. I'm feeling fairly con I mean, we didn't make all of you. Some of you already had legendary items. But yeah. the people who didn't have legendary items are getting legendary items. If you already had one, you're, you get to keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get two. I'm not that benevolent. Um, let's see. <clears throat> legendary items. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so... Uh, other things you need to know. Um, Hannah said that she had a way to get you all into the gold spires undetected. That she was pretty sure was safe. That she was completely positive was safe. Because she, she rolled really high. Um, and... Um... Yeah. Uh, and so you've returned here, and presumably uh, you talked about going to Aster's shop in the morning, and then... Um, and then pass the fuck out. Yep, and then you passed out. You ever feel the hair on the back of your... Um, 
so we're actually we're gonna get started if everybody is if that's copacetic with everybody yep um and we're gonna start with cervantes me with you um cervantes as you wake up you realize um a little slowly at first and then you sort of startle awake and you realize you uh Poppy has crawled into like your sleeping bag with you. Um, and she's sort of curled up in like your armpit like a really awkward cat. Uh, and which is a little bit weird because she had been um, sleeping with Lars. When you went to bed. Is Lars there? He's not. There's still, like, the cot he was sleeping at. His, there's bedrolls there. Um, but there's no Lars. You do see, like, a weird-shaped lump in the bed. Um, but it doesn't look like Lars. Am I the only one who's awake? As far as you know, yeah. Everybody else is in like a separate cell someplace. You you could go and investigate and see if other people are awake. Hmm. Poppy's asleep. Uh, if you start to move, she wake up. If she's curled up, I'll like take my finger and like stick it into her belly. <laughs> <laughs> puppy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wake up, puppy. That was my liver. That was my liver. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm awake. That's not Lars. No, he left. What do you mean he left? He said that he said he had to pee and then he never came back. Oh no. <laughs> he went up to the grass. Okay. He left something for you, I think. For me. I don't think it's a trap. I'm gonna go peek in his sleeping bag. Um when you open it. Um, you see that what he has left is Dame Loriel's sword. And there's a note, um, but unless you can speak goblin, you have no idea what it says, because that's all he can, he's not literate in common. <laughs> <laughs> I smell the note. Mm. It <laughs> it kind of smells a little bit like it had been like shoved in his pocket for a while. And it smells a little sweaty. Like it's Has... just like a scrap piece of paper. It smells like oversensitive man. Yes, I, I roll it, definitely, it up. It, yeah, it smells like that. Ugh. Um, but. If you take the sword, you will find um, that I've already put something in your inventory for you. What the? I did. And, you did? Uh -huh. Oh. I did. This is a Holy Avenger rapier. <clears throat> a rapier? Yes. I gave you something different so you could actually use it. <laughs> she was definitely strength based and not dex based, but <laughs> it's a holy avenger rapier. You'll you'll find that my strength is higher than my dex. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, you could have the holy avenger longsword instead. Woo! I have a plus yeah. six to strength. Yeah, I'm very strong. I was re Why have you been using dex based weapons then? Well, you see, it's okay. not. Deck space. <laughs> uh, pistols are deck based. Oh, that yeah, I have been doing that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Cervantes has never been a um, efficient operation from the very beginning. Okay. He's a character. Not the brightest bulb in the drawer, but he gets the job done. <laughs> He uh, okay. he overcomes challenges with attitude. Okay. Well, then you can replace it with a holy monster. <laughs> since that, that will be more effective for you. <laughs> that uh, is funny. I was like, dex-based weapon, because he uses guns. Silly me. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pull it out of his... Bedroll and look around. I guess I'll fucking carry this thing for him. I, I'll put it over my shoulder and um, I'll take the note and walk over to Davril. Davril's room. I want to sneak in if I can, if he's still asleep. Wait, does okay. Davril have a lady in there? Yeah. yeah. Davril is not alone. Also, as you walk down the hallway, you see that that blink dog that befriended Davril is actually sleeping in the threshold of the room that he's in. Oh. All right. Well, you know, for a second there, I was going to say, never mind, there's a woman in there, but actually Cervantes wouldn't care. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, I don't know that Cervantes would I rolled care. a 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone, everyone in that room, most of the people in the hallway, and some of the people in the other hallways know that you're coming. <laughs> um, just imagine bring sexy bag, same place in the bag as he's walking down the hall. <laughs> yeah, you know he he would be civil enough to knock, but it's like knock knock, open the door. <laughs> yeah. If it's is there a lock on the door? No, they actually um, took the locks because these were prison cells. They took the locks off of the doors to make people feel more comfortable sleeping in there. Oh yes, I just you see him walk up to the prison cell, open the door, and walk in, um, trying to stealth. Davril, do you notice me? Oh yeah, I do. I think at first he tries to maybe like pretend like maybe if I just pretend to be asleep, it, he'll just go away. But then when he hears like the actual door open and you walk, <laughs> you kind of like it. Uh, Adam Flowers is almost definitely the big spin. No, no sir. <laughs> I'm just like standing over your your sleeping bag and uh I have the note out and I go Davril Davril and I I, I place the note on his face. What 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 what, what is this Cervantes? This looks like <laughs> chicken scratch. What what is this? Our wannabe goblin soft boy ran off again. Well, get out of bed uh i can't read does anyone Barami, do you know how to read goblin by any chance the shot in the dark but... give me a second and she good morning <laughs> go, good morning Cervantes. she rubs both both uh, heels of her hands into her eyes, and like her curly blue hair is like ridiculous, like just like massive bedhead, and she casts comprehend language on herself. <laughs> Your friend has terrible handwriting and also can't spell. Does he happen to mention anything about drowning in his sleep in there? He says that he f felt like he was visited by Lith Lithander in his sleep, and Lithander told him that he should go and reclaim his faith. Maybe something about being on about being baptized. Maybe she turns it the other way to see if it makes more sense. So maybe something about drowning. Um, he says that he doesn't think that he can do this, but wants you to carry Daimoriel's sword for him. He thinks really hard. 
Here's the thinking face. <laughs> you alright there? Your, your face just got all stiffed up for a second there. Are you okay? You just got all thinky. Smoke starts coming out of the ears. Maybe it's like a baptire. <laughs> maybe it's like a baptism by fire kind of thing? You think he's gonna go jump in a volcano? What? No! To go be with his dame? I know, I think he's just sad and wants to go figure out how to be sad someplace else. And is worried that, probably for good reason, going into the f a full frontal assault having no hope seems a little bit dangerous for everyone. Well, he's... I guess he's not wrong, but also, he's our healer. I think that just occurs to, like, Devil, like, oh yeah. Hmm. That's... There's a, there's a really high-level cleric who is, like, busy doing actual cleric things in the morgue. Yeah, but they're not my little fuckboy. <laughs> I didn't realize you had that sort of relationship with him, Cervantes. You have my condolences. But she could probably keep you from dying. I suppose it'll have to do. <clears throat> do we feel like we need to go hunt him down and, like, give him some male bonding time? I think, uh... I tried that last I night. I don't think it... I don't, I don't, I don't know if it panned out so well. <laughs> What what do you mean you tried that last night? <laughs> well, I, you know, like when someone's down, you 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 play a prank on them to make them laugh or something. Okay, elaborate. Um, <laughs> what did you specifically do? <laughs> oh, I um, you see this? I pull out the the dust of dryness and I go, look, check this out. Do you have any like water? I provide some water. If yes. you look, he. he he like dusts some of the dust in the water, and then the water shoo, into like a little marble, and then and then I like release the magic, and the marble marble turns back to water. And I'm like, see, I have this like really cool magic dust that's like absolutely useless, but last night I found a use for it. I played chubby bunny with him with these marbles, <laughs> and then oh. and then I. And then when he wasn't looking, I turned them into water in his throat while he was so in he sleep. <laughs> it was hilarious, right? <laughs> so, Roxas, did you almost drown Lars? It was only enough to, like, go down the wrong pipe, and, but, like, he could... As long as he doesn't have an asthma attack, he's fine. I just think waterboarding. <laughs> he apparently took that as a divine sign that he should... Go find himself. Damn, <laughs> this is your fault. What? I mean, this is what you do when people are down. Like, this is how us men, like, you know, cheer each other up. We, like, insult each other, punch each other. <laughs> um, when someone's sleeping, you, like, marker their, a dick on their face. I didn't have a marker this time. Toxic masculinity. I think so. Uh, uh, oh, well. I I hope Lars finds. I hope he finds something, whatever he's looking for. But hopefully, he comes back. Oh boy. He so, looks at <laughs> he looks down at you and then bubbles. Wait, bubbles? Oh, wait, no, wait, bubbles. Wait. No, bubbles. <laughs> Derevi, shit. Derevi. <laughs> 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 Derevi. Derevi. I apologize. Perhaps, perhaps uh, this could have waited till breakfast. Um, continue doing what you, what you guys were gonna do. You like. Nudges Davril and winks and then walks out. See you later. I would 
would say like Cervantes is definitely the kind of guy who like wakes up first and then is really obnoxious about it. So it's probably just after dawn. <laughs> He's like being really loud working out, like grunting and uh like making unnecessarily loud noises while everyone's trying to sleep. Uh, Poppy is counting his reps. What? <laughs> Two? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that situation where it's like, well, I can't really go back to sleep anymore, so I'm just gonna like wake everyone else up. If I have to sober, everything else has to get up. Okay. Um, as you are like going out and making the rounds, the the blink dog sort of follows along behind you, and um, you know you go around and wake people up as you wish, but the only other person. The only other people that are already up besides Cervantes and Poppy, um, you find that Camilla is still, has presumably slept, but woke up early to continue her duties and has made an, uh, a rather nice little shrine in this area. So it feels a little bit less like people have just been left on like the garage floor. It feels a little bit more um, temple-y in there. Um, Subri has fallen asleep in her office chair. Um, she attempted to stay up and has just like face planted on the map that she was studying. And you also find your mom. Since she is a high elf, she doesn't really need to sleep the whole night. And you can tell that she's been up for quite a while. Devil? Hey. Hey. I... You all are probably fighting again today. Yep. Um, I think we're Trying to bring this to an end. I think. I think this might be the final fight. Yes, I have seen a few of those in my time, and it, it certainly feels a little bit like everyone is just holding their breath and waiting for the the shoe to drop. I don't think I would be useful to you this fight. But I don't I don't want you to go without something of me at least. I don't have a lot of magic. Um, certainly not compared to some of the people, some of my four, our four bears that came before us, but I kept this safe, hoping for someone who it might find worthy, he might find worthy. Don't be alarmed. And she reaches inside her vest and it looks for a moment almost like her hand disappears into her chest. It's not like a wound or anything, but there's just some sort of extra dimensional space somewhere amongst her clothing. Um, and she pulls out a blade. Well, mm -hmm. nope, never mind. I, this is Moonflame, and it belonged to my father, he belonged to my father, and did not choose me when my father died. 
but maybe he might choose you. What do you mean, choose? It's like sentience or something? Dab up. <laughs> it, it is, yes. These are... There are not very many of them left. Mostly because the longer the elves were on this material plane, the shittier they got, if you ask me. But there are not very many of them left. And this one's been in our family, my family, for a long time. And you can see, and she points down the blade where there are five runes. Um, there are five runes etched into the blade. This one is my father, and my grandmother, and my great-grandmother, and on back through the eons. You sure you want me to have I'm sure. Sorry, there's somebody at my door? Inexplicably? My food got delivered to the wrong house. What if it was me? What if <laughs> I opened the door and I was just like, hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> So what happened? <laughs> I don't... No! The, the Amazon guy knocked on the door! Just leave it, man! <laughs> Just leave it! <laughs> um, apologies. Um... Yes. I'm sure that I want you to have it. I... I'm the last one in my family besides you. And I don't think that I have the courage to try to have another family at my age. So... Go... take Moonflame, go... I'll do cheese it. Can I get a better look at it? Yeah, it is a beautiful is beautiful weapon um and as you hold the hilt the gem and the end of the hilt flares and crackles a little bit and you see that inside the jewel is this almost silver uh, uh, the silver flame in there and it turns almost so that it feels like it's looking at you in the hilt almost feels like it shifts to match the grip of your palm. Um, it's just like kind of holding it. I don't really know how to explain it, but it feels right. It feels right with this. You hear a voice in your head. You're new. And looks around before, like, looking at the sword. The little flame in there, like, nods at you. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> it's a sword. Um, it was, uh, okay. Are you gonna introduce yourself? Am I saying this, like, out loud, or is this, like, telephone? Uh, you are hearing this in your head. You can decide if you're saying things out loud or not, but you are hearing this telepathically. It's very much like how, um, how Poppy communicates with you all. I think at first, when he is, I think he's a little bit cut off guard because normally it's just Poppy. So at first, maybe the first couple things will just, is out loud before I kind of like, oh wait, this is yeah. in the head. So he'll just say, da Davril, but I'll say that out loud. Your mom's like, uh, yes. Are you okay? 
I mean, uh, it's uh. Oh, it's talking to you. It is it's talking to me. That's a good sign. When I tried, it just blew raspberries at me until I put it away. <laughs> this this has this sword has frozen. <laughs> um, and as if you if you attune to it, it's already in your inventory. Yes, I see that. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, if you attune to it, a sixth rune will appear on the blade. I, just I will. For you. I will begin to attune to this. Blade will say, Davril. Uh, I think that we are going to be. We are going to do a lot of good together. I think so. Just kind of like holding it and feeling it out. I got a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about you. Otherwise, you'd have disadvantage on all of your checks for the next 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, do you have a, are you just called Moonflame or do you have a special name that I address you as? Uh, well, my. My last companion called me Chaz, but I didn't particularly care for that. We just made it up. You can call me Moon, or I guess Moonflame <laughs> sounds a little bit pretentious. How about we just feel it out? We'll feel. We'll, we'll feel. We're, this is new. I mean, this, yeah, this is new. We'll, we'll figure it. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> this can't be worse than Chaz. Yeah, I, I definitely was not thinking Chaz as like a person. Was that like my parent grandfather who came up with Chaz? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, he had an awful sense of humor. Oh, wow. Yeah, he waited until after I'd picked him and then came up with that terrible name. It was the worst. <sighs> I hope I live up to the expectations and, yeah, he and make it worth it. I think you will. You already have better style than your grandfather did. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. He was big into ruffly collars. <laughs> it's not the thing. I think that will then I guess now there's like curiosity, I think that will spend a little bit of time just like and if anyone's looking, he's just like intensely like staring at his new sword. But I think he's like asking about like previous like, you know, uh, learning a little bit about his family history just through the sword, asking what uh, previous users yeah. were like. Yeah, the sword will go through and we'll talk to you about the the previous five generations of your mom's family and that tells funny little stories um when you get the impression that these were very important people and over the eons that they held moonflame um moonflame developed a personality solely intended to take the piss out of these very self-important people yeah yeah if anyone's just walking by they'll just see every once in a while dad will just like <laughs> Just like chuckle to himself, uh, but just looking at his sword, so it looks weird. Yeah. Um, no one. Yes. <laughs> um, everybody's getting special attention today. Um, what did you do with the blindfold? Um, well, realizing upon its capabilities, I probably would have taken it off and probably just left it there. 
when you're going through your bag, you, you find it. You find it. You, I left this. Why is, why is this here? I left this. I don't need this anymore. And as you go to like rip it in half, you realize that something has, with Lismora's death, fundamentally changed about this blindfold. And as somebody who has knowledge of making magical items and knowledge of arcane things, you realize that this is something... Lismora had perverted something fairly powerful that she maybe didn't quite understand herself. And if you take the time to identify it or study it for any length of time, you'll find that you have an item in your inventory also. Oh, do I? Oh, oh I do. You do. Ooh. And you may choose how much, if any, of this information to share with the class. <laughs> Uh, John the Pfizer. Um, just... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, while no one studies studies her her new toy, um, and Davra learns about the history of his family going back thousands and thousands of years what art the rest of thou doing naturally i think ian woke up first <laughs> 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 to be fair metal's just a sentinel robot though yeah he, i don't know he practices being a tree while everyone's asleep <laughs> you feel very rooted Photosynthesis. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's you're, no sun down here. You're slowly <laughs> trying to fit. You're slowly trying to figure out how to use solar panels. <laughs> like... <laughs> but uh, uh, I guess metal will just uh, stand up, give Maglana and her son some privacy, try the first door he sees to. Uh, Get to Aster Shop. Ast uh, yeah, Aster yeah. Shop. Yeah, the first door you see after that is actually like into like the toilet. Sure. And you just sort of open it and it opens into Aster Shop. If anybody oh. else wanted to go shopping, you could go along. Oh, I like shopping. Yeah. Yeah, as you're doing oh. your. Um, and, and I will say that enough time has passed so that if you were tuning to something or whatever, you can go along if you'd like to go shopping. Because um, Cervantes woke everybody up at the ass crack at dawn. <laughs> the soft boy is gone! <laughs> um, uh, just Cervantes, when you opened my door, I think I was just already standing behind it and I just kind of like look at you. Yeah. This is canon. I walk into <laughs> Ian's room. <laughs> Bubbles is still completely asleep. Like, on her stomach, one arm over the side of the bed, like, most of the blanket kicked off. Just, like, big fluffy white hair and little bare feet. I look at Ian, and I'm like... What you, I'm what? trying to like pull him outside. <laughs> He's like, "What are you saying?" And you have to like grab him and <laughs> drag him outside. <laughs> I like close the door behind us. You're hitting that, <laughs> <laughs> you dog. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm all flustered now. Um, uh <laughs> Lars left, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, but why are we talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> Your friend is gone. 
<laughs> yeah, but like this is way more important. <laughs> <laughs> you need to spill all the tea. God, you were like this last time too. <laughs> um. But here, if you're curious, I hand him the note. <laughs> It, it, it's still unintelligible unless you can read Goblin. I can't read this. I can't read this. <laughs> it says, I'm a little bitch. I'm sad. I didn't listen to Cervantes' advice. I ran away. Did you put the beads in his mouth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God, <we're> mad, <laughs> <damn> it. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. <laughs> it was a successful operation. <laughs> you want to go shopping later? Yeah, let's go shopping. <laughs> All right. Does anybody collect Zarius for a trip to the interdimensional pawn shop? Oh, yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah. Be like, Zarius, you've. Have we paid you yet? <laughs> <laughs> getting his share of loot. <laughs> he, he he looks up. Um, he's been, been sitting at a table. Um, seems relatively, you know, well rested. All things considered, especially with what? what we've been through over the past twenty-four hours, forty-eight hours. Um, and he says, P "Paid." <laughs> I didn't realize this was a paid gig. I swear we were like. Sebastian mentioned uh, uh, or said something about paying you or something like uh, maybe it wasn't me. I'm not sure. I wish, but um, you all have been very generous with dividing up what we've found so far. And in fact, I've kind of been thinking about what to do with it all. Well, I'm going to a magical shop that is run by an arch druid that likes to stay as a cat. So that's what you spend your money on. Yes, she is. She's got a companion, a sorcerer, I think, who is <laughs> very roommates. They were roommates, but also she's he's very proficient at making items randomly. Like, but I think he's he prefers to stay as a goat. I'm not sure their dynamic. I mean. To be honest, if it wasn't for the fact that I would turn into a giant tree metal monster, I would probably stay as a bear all the time. You know, with all of the magic things that I've seen so far, none of this surprises me much. I, uh, I guess we can do some shopping. I, I, I was really hoping that one way or another, um, you know, what we've gathered so far would go to the right place. He holds up a, a note. Is, you know, I don't know how a will and testament works, but I figured I'd want it to go someplace. Do you... I guess if we lost, it wouldn't really matter. Huh? Yeah, um, I believe I'll, if we lost, we would be whoever killed us, loot drop. <laughs> I mean, who do you think of the people here would... Um would be most inclined to follow through on something like that. Cervantes? No, I mean, of the people who aren't going into battle. Oh, who aren't going into battle. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it seems as though you all have, you know, close relationships with some folks, even seemingly amorous relationships. <laughs> um, but I guess well, I just don't know who I would trust. Big, big lady. I would say, I would say, if you want, if you want to give your money away, maybe give it to Tannis. It's probably not a good idea, her being a thief and all, but I have a feeling she has good intentions, and good intentions are really good enough for me. Good enough. Um, of the people that you're pretty sure are not going into battle um no oh wait you know that you, you, oh yeah tannis is gonna go with you as far tannis as is coming with us i forgot um, about that adam flowers is not going um neither is dapple's mom 
presumably you're not taking the horse, but the horse also steals stuff. Yeah, uh, don't don't give money to the horse. Um, <laughs> make him earn it. Yeah. yeah. Um, me and my father originally came out here because of opportunity. It's the city of corn, as they said, and we sent just about everything that we made back home. Uh, if I knew this whole adventuring thing was so lucrative, I would have started it a long time ago. Um, but maybe the war condition is contributing to that. I don't know. I figured if uh, the amount of gold that I've come across uh, landed at home, well, at least my people would be taken care of. Yeah, that would be that'd be really good. I would I would have actually preferred if you spent that gold on yourself. <laughs> increase your like because i'm about to open this door and there's going to be a magic shop on the other side uh oh it's I here this, i know what this man's ac is he doesn't need more protection yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the magic shop is is here you're like that's it's... the toilet <laughs> i've that's the toilet the magic shop is is a magic shop you literally think about it and open a door and it's behind whatever door you open it's kind of like a hole. Yes, it's kind of <laughs> like a hole. Mm. Mm. By the way, I I'm, think you can use that again. I'm start. I'm starting to understand this magic stuff now. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, can't hurt. Yeah, it can't hurt. Besides, maybe we can. Uh, would you like a? How do you feel about tattoos? I've never. I heard they're painful. Uh, this this one's literally just uh, oh I saw last time I saw Lars. Bubbles, Bubbles has one also. He had I don't know this magic tattoo that made him punch better. He punch, punch good? Yeah, uh, he could punch apparently. I saw him shoot some guy and then run up and punch him in the face. Oh boy! So he's a he's a scrappy little one. I guess it's some sort of magic tattoo, then, huh? It'd be a magic tattoo. I'm not sure you have to sit there for hours and wait for it to be punctured into your yeah, skin. Yeah, I, I didn't think we had that kind of time, but if we'll, we'll see what kind of magic stuff we've got going on. We'll see. And I open the door. In the bathroom. Yeah, you, he <laughs> opens it, and you hear <laughs> as the, the wind chime above the door. Um, goes off and it is a quaint little shop there are um various size like barrels and buckets and umbrella stands that are full of all sorts of weird shit like you're pretty sure you see an umbrella stand that's all just full of long swords plus one they're varying sizes for varying sized adventurers there's a mismatched bowl full of um they're un unpaired sending stones. <laughs> it's just oneers. It's just unpaired sending stones in this bucket. Um, a across like on the the front table, you see uh, like a pen holder, and it's full of just like there's like uh, tuning rods and wands and like little needles, all sorts of stuff. And you see what looks like a 900-pound Siberian tiger just asleep on the floor in front of the the counter. Oh, big cat this time. All right. Um, I want to try to figure out, like, who would give this... I know I'm, like, a little late for this, but I want, I'm curious. Who would drop this blindfold or give me back the blindfold um, and put it back in my bag? Like, I'm still, like, staring at it and, like, like trying to figure out if there's anything, like, different on it or a name, a sigil, or anything. You don't know. No. Oh, fuck. Have you tried smelling it? <laughs> <laughs> you... If you think... I don't know if it feels different. It does feel different. The material feel... It looks the same, but the material feels a little different. The only thing that you can remember is that 
because you still think number X is on your side. Maybe she left it? She was there and then she was gone. Kirina won. Mm. We switched and wow. I know it's Did you say that like they're not on our side. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They rolled really high. Mm -hmm. And you all rolled really poorly. Yeah. On percent of persuasion, right? Yeah. Um I guess we'll kind of like look around and see if I'm alone or not before uh, I would hesitantly like put it on. Yeah, uh, you can wait until they they're all sort of arguing over breakfast, or uh, Ian's being interrogated about his love life, or they're going into the shop, or <laughs> trying to figure out who's who's gonna who's taking all of your wills, um, and you can put it on. And it attunes, like, if you attempt to, like a regular magical item. I will do that, because I'm curious, because the previous blindfold I had did something. I'm going to try to figure out what this one does, and why somehow this one stuck into my bag. Yeah. Attuned. Yeah? Um... As you attune to it, you you um, kind of have like a like a a holy shit moment. Like you attune to this, and you're like, oh, 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 this is not the same. This is this is what the fuck. I see everything. <laughs> yes. Um, and as you're sort of, if you go out and you look around, you see sort of little uh, ethereal fish sort of flitting through and through walls. And they don't seem aware of you. They're just going through the ethereal plane, minding their own business. Um, Neat. When you run into Madam Flowers, like at breakfast, you see that she is using illusion to make herself... She's She has changed her form to be more human-sized. And that she is naturally about 12 feet tall. I I try to hide it, but I am just like in awe of what I'm, I'm seeing right now. And I kind of just be start, I, just, I begin to wander, like seeing what else I'm like, <laughs> I'm seeing. Yeah. Probably uh, follow the ethereal fish too. Yeah, the ethereal you, you accidentally run into at least one wall as you're following the ethereal fish because uh, you're distracted. Um, everyone else is in their true form. You get a little bit squiggy vision around the horse. Like, it's not... You see an aura around the horse. Is this is not it, it not its natural form, but it's not an illusion. It's not an illusion like what Madame Flowers is using. Hmm. Um, it's possible that someone has um, done this to them. Hmm. Um, when you see Subri, you are. Uh, she's not under any illusions or she's in her true form but you see in that same plane where you see all of those weird little squiggly fish you s almost see like the seething mass of like spiders pulsing where her heart is if you've ever yeah. seen like um like an egg sack in a spider web when it yeah. starts to split open and all of the little tiny spiders come out. That's what you see inside of her. 
and it's almost grafted all on inside of her body. Mm. Do not like. <laughs> Again, I'm just like wandering everywhere. Like Cervantes will probably like see me like looking around like I'm in Disneyland. Like, are you high? Huh? Are you doing drugs? I know drug. I know a drug. I know a trip when when I see one. <laughs> I'm a, here. Follow my finger. I can't see where your eyeballs are. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how Cervantes is looking. Does he is he glowing anything? He has a really tiny penis. <laughs> are you using an illusion? To <laughs> I like that they gave some x ray vision. This isn't a thing that lets, lets her see through pants. My pants are an illusion, guys. I have to I have to come out and say it. <laughs> I've been free balling this whole time. <laughs> yep. He's like, wow, you look like, huh? <laughs> yeah, you are horrified to find out that Cervantes has been Donald Ducking it this whole time. Somebody stole him a belt of the Emperor's new clothes, and it's just in a, a minor illusion of trousers. <laughs> and nobody noticed this whole time. It was like, huh, this is so... Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, whenever uh, you're done tripping, we're gonna go shopping, so... Shopping? Metal leans out from like, I don't know, around a corner and he goes, Alright guys, come on, shopping. Yeah, you got money, right? I do. I'm like Quentin first, but isn't that the bathroom? Shut up. Uh, and he starts pushing you. Yeah, <laughs> wait, wait, where are we going? You can see that there is a massive illusion cast into this room. I'm just looking around, like, oh, what? So. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, as you all come in, you you all see Aster as a Siberian tiger asleep on the rug in front of the counter. And she peeps open one eye. Well, I did wonder where you all got to. Oh. What can I do you for, sugar? <laughs> Well, I'm here to pick up my belt. Right. And she cracks her neck, and as she does, you all have seen metal come out of his wild shapes before. And it's just sort of like changing changing clothes. He's just one thing, and then he's another thing. Uh, and as she transforms from tiger to vaguely person-shaped, uh, it's it looks almost painful as like the the bones sort of snap and bend and have extra joints and things until she's in the shape of a really pale tall humanoid woman looks like maybe her elbows don't go the right direction until she flicks them and straightens them out oh too many bones too many bones She's a too many bones changeling. Uh, your belt, right? Well, I. Given the nature of what's going on out there, and she points out the open door. By the way, whoever's in last, could you please shut the door? This is not a barn. Um. <laughs> right, don't want Jack coming in here and stealing all your stuff. play cards with him. He cheats. Um, but given the nature of what's going on in the city, I thought that perhaps you might like something a little extra. And by I thought you might like something extra, I mean that Willie sneezed on it and it got a little out of hand. Um, so if you look in your inventory, you'll see that the Belt of Wild Shape has some extras in it. Oh, it's got a lot of extras uh -huh. in it. Mm -hmm. So, sturdy leather belt, has a large pewter belt, a pewter buckle, 
do it. It looks exactly the same, but it's got it's got some interest and properties. Oh. True to Tombstone, they have access to two additional wild shape slots. Cool. But it's also got six charges. Mm -hmm. And I can spend those charges to cast these spells. Mm -hmm. Without direction. Yeah, you can cast these spells without ex without material component. It regains all of its charges uh, at dawn. But if you use all six charges, the belt loses all magical properties. Okay. Understood. Spooky. Yeah. Needle. Yeah. yeah. I think it might be a little unstable, if I'm being honest. But I had a look at the the spells should all cast true, as far as I can tell. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, it works. I'm going to wear it like it's a bandolier mm -hmm. and just have the, buck, the buckle like up here on my shoulder. And. Um, yeah. Uh, when you are in the your regular Warforged form, the buckle almost seems to grow like little pewter mushrooms to sort of blend in. Ooh. Well. Anything. You all want to know what I have in stock? Always. Always. All right. Well, I have. Hold on. She leans over the counter, and her arms get grossly long as she picks up the things that are on the other side. She goes, "Well, I've got this," um, and she has a beetle-shaped medallion in the palm of her hand. This is a scarab of protection. Um, she rubs a little bit of blood off one corner. I don't know that it did a lot of good to the last person who had it. Um, but... Um, 15,000 for this? If you're interested. Oh. It's a legendary item. Um, I also have... She looks around. I don't know that it's particularly useful for any of you, but I did get a hold of a belt of five giant strength. No. Um, fire giant strength. Puts its strength at 25. Oh. Uh, could use it. How much is it, though? How much is it? 8,000? <clears throat> I also have this. She pulls out a DOS loop. Tinkles the, the, the strings. She reaches in a pocket out of this. It's an origami boat. <laughs> I I don't think we're going to need that. It becomes a, a real boat. How much is it? <laughs> <laughs> there are moments we need it. <laughs> 25? Uh, you really want the boat? I, I see many realities. <laughs> Twenty-five hundred dollars, gold. Uh, hundred. Yeah, not twenty-five. <laughs> it's not made. It's not actual origami. I thought you were asking for twenty-five thousand. Oh no! The fuck are you gonna do? A... You gonna try and make your uh, a grand exit in this origami boat? I don't know. Oh well, two thousand five hundred. How how many butts does this boat seat? Oh, a number, actually. Uh, I believe if you make it into the biggest one. Oh, uh, there's size options. All good things come in different sizes. 
uh, it will fit, fit 15 medium-sized creatures. Holy shit. That's not a so boat. That's a ship. <laughs> well, well, I mean, if you only do the first one, it's a canoe, I think. That's that's awfully cute. It holds four four creatures in the, in the small size. Dude, Ian, that would make portaging so much easier. I'll, t I'll take the boat. 2,500 sugar. What future now do you see? <laughs> <laughs> we need that boat. Insight check. What <laughs> is there yeah, a future that involves a board? There, yeah, what there is are a lot of futures in which you all just fucking book. <laughs> You're like, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, 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 into the the city's, like, you just, cool guys don't look at explosions. You just boat out of there. We can. Um, I also have this. She holds up a tiny marble elephant. That might help. Gold. Gold. Marble elephant? Mm -hmm. What does it do? It turns into a regular elephant. <laughs> An elephant on the go? Honestly, at this point, I just looked at Ian when she mentions this, it's just like... <laughs> do we also or, need an elephant? Do we need, do we need an elephant for this? Any elephant will it, fit, features, yeah. will it fit in our boat? Oh, you know what? elephant will definitely fit in the boat. I don't... I don't think you need this. She tucks it in her breast, but I don't think you need the elephant. Ah, Alright, fine. Uh, uh, it will, will probably help with just general chaos if we're going... Just imagine... Waking up the elephant and go, be free. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also have one last thing. Oh, she's digging through her stuff. Two last things. She pulls out a little stone. This is an. Blows on it. This is an island stone of sustenance. If you've ever decided, desired not to have to eat or drink anything. How do you spell I? Uh, I O U N. Right. Um, I also have this, and she lifts out um, dragon scale mail, uh, a brass dragon scale mail. Wow. The dragon that... it came from is really nice, if that helps. Did were were any dragons harmed in the making of this armor? No. Or did or did Willie just sneeze and a bunch of dragon scales fell on the ground? <laughs> there there were no dragons harmed in the making of this armor. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 She's lying. <laughs> she has no idea if there were dragons harmed in the making of this armor or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, she she has no idea. She, it's a pawn shop, man. People just give her stuff. And she gets the money for it. Fair enough. Know. You source these items, right? <laughs> <laughs> you source these items, right? Uh, is that it? Is that all the goods? That's all the magical items I've got. I'll also take like 1,000 gold worth of uh, just components. Alright. How uh, much for the. I have assorted spell scrolls over there, potions of all kinds. Well, she starts to say poisons and then looks at Cervantes. Perfumes. <laughs> 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 Would you like to buy your, your lady friend? Oh, your flamboyant male friend. Any <laughs> fragrance? Well, um... Sorry. I look at Cervantes. What armor are you wearing? <clears throat> I have a breastplate. The brass dragon scale male gives a plus one bonus to AC. You have resistance to fire damage. You have advantage on saving throws against frightful presence and breath weapons and dragons. And 
you can use your action to see if there's a dragon, the clear, the nearest brass dragon within 30 miles of you. Plus one AC, really? You don't have magic armor? I do. It's, just... it's, it's enchanted. It's a plus two yeah. breastplate. Yes, it has been enchanted. Zarius, if you'd like to ch trade your your hole for something else of <laughs> legendary status, you're welcome. To <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, she wants you to get rid of the hole. <laughs> nobody already had a yellow item, got one. Nobody, mm -hmm. if you already had a legendary item, that's the one you're keeping. So oh, Ian's got the, the robe of the arch oh. magi, and Zarius yeah. has got the hole. We could spill oh. both. <laughs> ah. You could pick the legendary <laughs> item if you'd like. I, I unless will it go. Unless it's the Horn of Valhalla, in which case I'll murder you. <laughs> I, will go, I will go browse the legendary items. I really wanted to put the hole on the magic carpet and then I cut it fly around. Oh <laughs> no, he was serious. <laughs> but I can fly. I have a potion of flying too, so I just fly around with the magic. <laughs> Sucking things up. Oh no! It's not a Hoover, man. <laughs> uh, Aster, speaking as how you mentioned you're like a pawn shop and all, uh, I want to sell you something, and it's a real valuable thing. All right. I got a manual of gainful exercise I got not too long ago. I have not had time to read it. I was a little shocked when you got it because I thought that maybe... I can't read. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can. I just... I tried reading it and I got bored because oh. I'm already so good at working out. I don't really need to read a manual on it. She looks at your... She looks at your, magic, your magically enhanced strength. <laughs> I'll give you 10,000 gold for it. Don't expose him. <laughs> Any more than your uh, illusory pants have already. <laughs> it's how I stay so it's how I stay so uh, nimble. Uh, it's mm. why you don't have disadvantage on on stealth checks. Precisely, it's not because of the no breastplate. Pants. Well, I will sell you this manual for 10,000 gold. All right. But, um, there is a particular item, well, really items, that I'm curious to know if Willie can sneeze out. Maybe. All right. All right. So, like, I have this idea in my brain. So, like, I like, I like restraining people. Um, I've heard. <laughs> so like imagine this I have like this thing and I throw this thing at <laughs> a person are you asking me to give you a pokeball no, no 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 not a pokeball is that a thing yes <laughs> oh no that's the wrong item fuck hold on Uh oh shit, where did it go? That's not rope the thing. entanglement. It's a rope that weighs three pounds. It's a heavy fucking rope. It's a heavy ass rope. Ass rope is what spiders make. There's too many fucking things on the list. I thought ass rope was something else. Uh, well that depends on who you <laughs> spend time with. Mm. Do you know anything that spiders don't like? Birds? Fi fire? Fire? Birds, fire? No, no, no. Snakes. Pres Snakes? Presumably you're talking about the loth drow kind of spiders and not like garden spiders. Is there a difference? Yes. Uh -oh. Because for like the loth drow spiders, it also sunlight. That I say. That's the one. <laughs> you do want a Pokeball. 
<laughs> Either one of these ideas work for me. <laughs> Uh, of course I have rope. Willie can make rope into fancy rope. I don't suppose you have an iron sphere made of interlocking bands that could be enchanted? I wouldn't suppose anybody sold you some as a, uh, as a pawn shop <laughs> owner, right? No. <laughs> no. Very well. I'll have him sneeze on my rope. Wonderful. But also... I, re I remember... I remember what happened with that... In a different universe. I remember this Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> how much are you, you gonna charge... <laughs> how much are you gonna... <laughs> how much are you gonna charge me for this fancy rope? It's a blue item. <laughs> I can reuse it. <laughs> do, do you have the spell scroll for Sunbeam? Go look in that pile of scrolls and see if you can find it. I root around in the pile of scrolls. Um, yep. Roll an investigation check. Can I teach him Sunbeam? You could have taught him if you stayed up all night. Oh, this yeah, is if this is a thing a thing you want today. <laughs> no, not really. All right. <laughs> Wait, which spell? Which eight level spell did I choose? Uh, yeah, uh, you hear uh, low country arguments happening, and a sneeze, and then you you wait for a moment, and you're expecting to hear like bleeding sheep's. Or, like, some weird sort of scent to come rolling out the back. And instead, Aster comes out. And she's doubled in size. She holds out the rope. Hope it was worth it. And she crinkles all her bones until she reverts back to her regular size. It, honestly, it's easier when he casts like enlarge or reduce because I can, until it goes away, just concentrate. Understandable. How much for that scale mail? Oh boy. Um, not me having prices for the things that I rolled. Um, it's a very rare item. It's purple. Three K. Deal. All right. Um, how much for the DOS loop? For the oh the loop, sure. Um, a thousand. Yeah, I'll do that. And uh, interested interested in taking this, and I will. And the scimitar of wounding. Oh. Uh, how, much, how much could I get for this? She spends it. Twenty-eight hundred. Yeah. She takes the end of her shirt and wipes some blood off the handle. I think that was your blood, Davil. Probably. Uh. <laughs> Probably, but I will also take this dossier first. That's... All right. Um, Didn't you already have a loot? I do. This is not for me. Oh, is it for Jack? He can't play the loot. He has hooves. <laughs> what? what? No. 
Right. So uh, I'm wondering, for the sake of um, decreasing the amount of shenanigans, I will trade a an orange item, which is my hole of infinite fun, for an animated shield, if you don't mind. <laughs> Shields are kind of my thing, so. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> I worked I worked really hard on the next battlefield and I don't just want it all hoovered up in a magic hole. <laughs> <laughs> Even though his AC's gonna be like twenty eight or some bullshit. Uh, Zarius, do you have magic armor? Uh, I don't think I do. Uh uh well Wait, I have Mithril half plate. Oh, I... that's magic. Okay. I'm not sure if it's better, but I have adamantine half plate if you'd like it. That'd make you immune to critical hits. But I think with Mithril half plate, I don't have disadvantage on deck saving throws, and if we're going to sneak into this tower, then maybe I want to. Be... Yeah. That's a good point. Yes, you would be much. Oh. You'd be much louder in that. And I'm probably the one that is most able to take a critical hit. <laughs> I just realized I have disadvantage on uh, stealth checks now. Uh -huh. Cool. Oh, well, I have Pass Without Trace, so I could mit mitigate that, hopefully. Dust of sneezing and choking. <laughs> no. No. What do you mean, no? You Th misused it last time. You are... You are... banned from yeah. it. Oh. Yeah, banned from it. I guess you did, um, you did kind of incapacitate half the party, but I don't <laughs> Well, Aster, does this druid speak for you? <laughs> uh, she asks you a question, she asks Metal and Druidic. How badly did he fuck up last time? Oh, he didn't even affect the thing he was trying to sneeze and choke. Oh, just the rest of you? Just the rest of us. <laughs> thank God I didn't have to- thank God I don't have to breathe. I'm completely out. What is this roll? <laughs> completely and What the- <laughs> I don't even think I can roll that high. Well, technically, uh, you, I could. You do find uh, you find a scroll of sunbeam. It's a little singed on the edges. Oh. It's got what suspiciously looks like maybe some kind of like vampire dust or ichor on it. Sunbeam. Uh, yeah. You find one. Ah. Um, what? It's however much an eight level spell scroll costs. It's a six level spell. Six, the six level spell so scroll. Weird. It might be an eight level for druids. Okay. Oh, yeah, that could be. Um. I'm not, no, I'm thinking of sunburst. Sorry, sunburst is the eight level one. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of too. Glad to, more... I'm glad to have found that I wasn't completely crazy. Do I have any more what? Lean. Uh, that, that good potion of speed stuff. Oh. <laughs> you gotta scratch your neck when you ask that. I'm sorry. Yeah, just, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna lean. Potion of fun. We would like to have fun, please. <laughs> suddenly is wearing a vest she wasn't wearing before, you didn't notice before, and she opens it to the side, and you see, like, a collection of sundials, and, like, and, like, uh, hourglasses, she's like, oh, wrong side. You want to the sundials? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, what are the sundials doing when you <laughs> They tell Tom Dabble. Uh, oh, they thought they covered oh, Never mind. Fine, yes. Oh. They could win, I think. Oh, there's one. I'll get to that in a second. She has a bunch of little purple vials inside her vest. How, how much? I can't remember how 
much I charged last time. A thousand. Okay, I'll take... I'll take one. Alright. You have a potion of lean. But do you want to know... You want to know what is what that sundial does? I mean, yeah, I, I assumed it, it, it maybe do more than just tell time. It it does tell time. I look at uh, Ian while this end is happening. Uh, it does tell time. It doesn't always tell this time. Uh, it only works. It works a little sporadically for me. I think perhaps I'm not exactly the target <clears throat> it's the target user for this particular item uh, I'm scrolling through everything to find the actual words I apologize uh, so So, so you can see a little bit into the future. Uh, you also might behave a little erratically, as you can see multiple versions. Like your friend. That's a little bit like your friend, honestly. Um, you can also travel interdimensionally. <laughs> How much? So, more than you've got. I'll trade my adamantine plate and circle it up blasting, if that'll bring down the price. Do you have 50,000 gold? Oh, shit, no. <laughs> no, we do not. <clears throat> but if those that plate and the circular blasting can get me healing potions, I'll take those. Alright, whatever. You can have whatever healing potions you want. <laughs> <laughs> Be aware, if you buy, like, 12 healing potions, I'm not sending the cleric with you. <laughs> I'll take... 11 healing potions. No, I was gonna take... <laughs> a superior and two greater. Alright. Uh, I think the greater are 500 and a superior is 1,000. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... The object that I'm describing is a mythic object and not a legendary object. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, that is just like artifact or fucking. Oh, what are they called? Vestige of Divergence. Oh, hold on. She pulls it out and sort of rubs the bottom of it, and you can see that there's what looks like, like a sticky tag from a flea market on the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> it was, this is the Ori of the Ori of the Wanderer. Does that say Made Exandria at the bottom? It says Property of Lottie. I don't know who that is. Anything else? <clears throat> Potion of Force Resistance. Sure, 500 gold. I want three of these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you think that you're just gonna be constantly hit by magic missiles where you're going? Historically speaking, it's not out yes. of the question. Oh. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Uh, Fair enough. 
Plus also, we might need healing potions. How many healing potions do we have? Well, Metal just bought three. Mm, I have and two. I'll tell you for free that I am going to send Camilla with you. And in a pinch, Camilla can cast Mass Heal. Mass Heal. Dope. Which distributes 700 HP amongst everyone. I don't actually want you to die. Yet. Oh gosh. Yet. Oh. I think I had a rant, like, we were playing Baldur's Gate 3 and I had a rant that you should kill us today. Oh. Because we were not doing well. <laughs> You just wanted me to put you out of your misery? <laughs> no, it's just like, we, how long have we been playing D&D, and why is it that we're only in like the second combat of Boulder's Gate, and we're getting our asses kicked? <laughs> Alright, anything else? Why do I have this card? I'll get one more potion of greater healing. Alright, 500. Two thousand gold. Two thousand gold. Um, gosh, should I get a shield? Do you need? Do you need a shield? shield? Mm, I have ten thousand gold left, guys. You should get a shield if you're going to invest it in the future. But also, I mean. I Wait, could also be asked for the crazy mythic item because I have fifteen thousand gold. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, shield, magically enhanced laxatives. Shield. Shield. Maybe I can get a cheap shield and laxatives. <laughs> Do you think in combat you're gonna have time, to, like? Force these people to drink the last. Like, no, I'm not talking about drinking. I pull out like the pesticide. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Cervantes, I swear to God. What do you mean? It because it, it will have the same. Uh, it will not be a one a one feature targeted effect. <laughs> what do you mean? Own damage at that point. <laughs> Have you ever tried Cold fighting? You shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fine Never because metal once again doesn't need to breathe, doesn't need a shit. That's one person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's just me. Also, I'm pretty sure no one also doesn't need to breathe or shit. I oh, see you're helping my point I mean. here. Mm. And then Zarius looks like a very constitute gentleman. To breathe and shit, but I can I cannot. <laughs> I can, if you need me to, just magically constipate myself. It's fine. <laughs> don't don't do that. No, it's a normal. That. It's a normal part of of nature. Just eat um, some. Um, Zarius, Zarius is already holding his breath. He's already. Zarius, you gotta breathe. No, no you can breathe. Zarius. You can breathe, Zarius. Zarius, Zarius breathe. It's not magic. Him. She tickles him. He, it, he, he begins to laugh. He is ticklish. And then uh, that's. I, he breathes in shame. Oh, there's shame. no shame in it. there's no shame in having to breathe, sugar. Sorry, sir, but does I let you down? Uh, I'll definitely never apologize to Cervantes. <laughs> the best apology to Cervantes is probably a punch to the face, or, or booze, pr or pranking him, or pranking him with a punch to the face, and booze, and booze. Ooh, a Leah tankard with a fake fist at the bottom, so when he lifts it up to drink out of it, it just punches him in the face. Mm. <laughs> I have one of those. It was an accident, but it's great at parties. <laughs> well, let's say we consider purchasing a shield plus two for me. All right. It will make using your gun difficult. It would. 
It sure Is your gun even magical? Nope. Is it? Hold on. I don't think it is. No, it is. He has magic bullets. It is enchanted. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think we did something so that it would be magical for the purposes of overcoming resistances or something. I see that it has an extra magical plus four added to it or something. I don't know what yeah. we did. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yes, it right. is magical. Um, shield plus two. She kicks over one of the barrels and a whole bunch of shields come out. Like, an inexplicable number of shields come out of this barrel. Oh! So many shields. <laughs> it, it's like 25 shields just spill out of this regular, like, wine barrel. Um, oh my. She picks through them. She goes, well, this is the only shield plus two I've got left. And she holds it up. And it has been... It's a kite shield, and it has been really decoratively enameled with, like, the scene of... It's basically Don Quixote uh, jousting at a windmill. <laughs> <laughs> nice embellishment. Um, yeah, he slips his arm into the... Whatever you call them, and... The loops. The loops. Uh, the loopies. The loopies, uh, 2,500. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm tired of selling things to you. 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> 3,000, whatever. Just take it. Go away. <laughs> I was just like, I was in the middle of a really excellent cat nap when you all walked in here. And I imagine at least one of you is going to roll in here with a dead body in the next uh, 24 hours or so and ask me to do something with it. So, I'd hopefully not eat it. I did Don't just give you a hole. Thanks, sugar. Yeah. Welcome. Wish, wish us lust, l luck, Aster. Do you want me to wish you lust or luck? I could wish both. It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us don't need it, though, as he, like, hits <laughs> Nian. There you go. Uh, huh. Yeah. You wouldn't think so. <laughs> well, women like a mysterious man. <laughs> I think she's into him just because he's blue, too. <laughs> oh, do you think it's like blue on blue solidarity? Oh, I think it's like blue babies. I don't know. She or wants to have his. I wonder what a half. Half Ergenazi, half Tiefling baby would look like. I think we'll find out <coughs> soon enough. <laughs> cloudy horn, or cloudy hair with a horn Do you think nobody's out? ever given him the here's how you don't have babies talk? <laughs> he's really, he's <laughs> really, sm he's really smart though. I think he understands like biology. <laughs> but like... <laughs> Maybe practical knowledge. Yeah, like, you know, uh, he went to like school or something. I guess. I don't know what they teach you in school. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Anyway. Sex makes babies, Ian. <laughs> Ian Ian's walking out the door. Unless you know how to pull out, Ian. Where are you going? <laughs> no, that's. Oh God, so much that's not. Uh, <laughs> Somebody needs to tell Cervantes that <laughs> not prevent babies. <laughs> That's really just for recreational purposes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're leaving. Whether or not you choose to leave or not, <laughs> you just feel the shop recede behind you and you get shunted out into regular space again. Are we all in the bathroom? Everyone's in the bathroom. You're all shunted out to the hallway outside the bathroom. Mm. But the door is open, and, like, one of the rando red shirts is in there, like, on the shitter. Like, have it trying to have their morning constitutional. Just use my staff to close the door. You know, guys... Sorry about that. We're going into, like, this final battle, and I think we're supposed to, like, have, like, a whole costume change and look really epic and stuff, and I'm trying to, like... 
get into the mood here, but I mean, I'm not used to being this heavy as he like swings around this big ass sword and a shield. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, uh, are you... Are you guys doing any costume changes? Are you alright? I are mean... We, are we supposed to? <laughs> well, we're like the I'm superheroes, aren't we? We're like saving the I'm... world or something? I don't really have wearing... yeah, that's fitting. I'm just wearing this dress and this and my sword behind me. I'm wearing yeah. a woman's robe. <laughs> it looks very, it looks very touching on you. I I have this whole I have this whole four elements thing going on with like each limb. Uh, I think I want to keep that up. Yeah, the 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 robe of the arch magi. It's got a little bit like a like a little corseted detail in the middle. You look very svelte. Uh, you're not really sure what to do with like the boob cups that were built in though. So you just like. <laughs> put spell scrolls in them <laughs> you know what i'm gonna look around and and i is I'm trying to think maybe dinky who would it be? i'm gonna like go up to somebody i'll go up to bubbles i guess bubbles yeah we need to like got like a cup of coffee <laughs> trying to drink <laughs> we need to like the the group here needs to suit up but they don't have any costumes we should like work on I'm like stitching them some like some some new costumes. Did you come to me because I have a history of the theater or because I'm a woman? Yeah. Well. Ah. Um. They picked. It's, it's, they, it's fine. It's I wasn't fine. really. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like the artsy out. type. You did literally beat me at art school. Yes. <laughs> well, they they did. She, I. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right. I heard you there's were in the theater guy. or something. Yeah, there's an old guy. Old guy. Yeah. Literally, who? Yeah. Uh, uh, she starts. She pulls her bag out and just like starts whipping like ridiculous sequin costumes out of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, her. Uh, her entire like performance wardrobe is really just gives like 1975 share mm. it's all like <laughs> bare midriffs and sequins and giant M malibu feathers and like there's weird jumpsuits and like she's just whipping it out it's like a rain a rainbow of sequins this is what I, I've, I've got cervantes he gets to work and it's it's a little sad seeing him try really hard to sew when he doesn't know how to sew but he's trying <laughs> Uh, Cervantes, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna point to my right arm that's like constantly on fire. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> yeah. R Rishaya has shown up. This is not protagonist oh, energy sure. metal. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> when, you, when you all come back from shopping, Rishaya is sitting at the dinner at the breakfast table. Like in between Bubbles and Doremi, and just like now's when you say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Rashaya. Oh, very welcome. What are we thanking her for? <laughs> I saved like five hundred civilians. Oh, oh, that. Yeah. Um. That's awesome. <laughs> like 500 people here now, are there? <laughs> it's no, I put them, check I, 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 I put them someplace safe before I came back. Okay. Them, to be fair, none of them really wanted to go to Neverwinter, but somebody owed me a lot of money from gambling in that city, and I thought I would kill two birds with one stone. So. The civilian population of F. Cutler is currently residing in um, Lord Never Ember's house. Uh, he owed me a lot of money, what can I say? Alright. Alright, well, you're just in time for the assault on the Gold Spires. Oh, How about I just help with costume changes? That's the spirit. 
That's a lot. <laughs> she reaches out and she touches Ian's robes, and then they look like they, he doesn't need tits to wear them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My spell scrolls fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's so You'll practical. <laughs> Why can't I hold all these spell scrolls? <laughs> You'll have to put them in your pockets. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, pockets! <laughs> mm. Oh yes, women's clothing is notoriously free of pockets. So now you have yeah. lot, like you have like a cargo pants. With this is pocket. great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we get you like a bandolier of scroll spell scrolls? I'm sorry. A bandolier of spell scrolls. I have like. like... I, 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 I suppose I could have a bandolier. We could you all have to, like, like curl your hair, like curling in the back, <laughs> and a bandolier in the dress. I'm cool with it. <laughs> well, uh, we could all try to match uh, Davril's theme. Oh, huh? oh do you, you all want to be country western themed? I love it. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, I've already got the hat for it. <laughs> you, you, you get the impression that Rashaya is a little drunk. <laughs> Hold on. And she snaps her fingers, and everyone is just wearing Wild West versions of their outfits. <laughs> no one looks like, um, in particular, looks like she just came out of, like, a really awful production of Oklahoma. <laughs> like, it is just, like, pure, like, high school cost, like, theater costume. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon if, Trail. If yeah. Lars was here, we could... Who is this? <laughs> if Lars was here, we could call ourselves the Magnificent Seven. <sighs> Bubbles, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes? She already has a sequin, sequin the cowboy oh, hat. Oh, yeah, no, she's, she is wearing, like... <laughs> She stands up, and you see that she has not been left out of this situation. It's like hot, like neon blue Daisy Dukes, and uh, sequined high-heeled cowboy boots, and mm. like a little white vest, uh, like midriff style, like nothing under the little white vest that's got the fringe on the bottom. Sequined cowboy hat. Well then. I'm not wearing this, Auntie. I mean, I'm currently wearing this. <laughs> if I'm going to die, I'm not dying like a, a Wild West hooker. I partially agree to that. No one will wear something like this. <laughs> I'd rather. Fine. She snaps her fingers again. And you all can just decide whatever your leveled up costumes look like. Ooh. I have a helmet now. These are purely, purely, purely <laughs> aesthetic changes, but you can, you have whatever aesthetic changes you'd like. Yeah. I definitely have a big flowing cape and a big shiny gold helmet and like uh, a, a long loincloth drapery that goes down to the floor. <laughs> Still not wearing it pants? <laughs> Over here, it's like that thing is tiny. <laughs> Who'd... Yeah. Could you at least get Greaves? Something? Oh yeah, he's wearing he's wearing Greaves. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like Greaves on his naked thighs. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. Night with no pants. Here we go. <laughs> uh, because you can't see the back of it, Rishaya has kept the the Don Quixote theme on the back of your cape. <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, no one. Um, I guess instead, like for. Like the dark dress that she normally wears, like the inverted color, like almost 
the, every color of her is like inverted besides her skin. Like she instead have like nice like dark hair, but blindfolds white, including the dress is white, the heels, and the sigil like highlights around the blade is instead of yellow, it's a blue color. So it's more light show, like pushing sides. Light side, no one. Yeah, there's some more. Just oh, try something different. Um, Bubbles is definitely wearing like like Jessica Rabbit's dress from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's just like <laughs> a backless, <laughs> slid up to like floor length red sequin dress. Damn. I can fight that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Uh, Bubbles never wears armor. I don't know if anybody ever noticed. The Bubbles does not wear armor. You know, winning doesn't matter if you don't look good doing it. Exactly. Um, when you turn around and you see the whole back of the dress is out, and then there's just a massive tattoo that curls around her back and up her shoulders. It's a barrier tattoo. I was going to say. She doesn't want to uh, compromise her aesthetic values. Mm. But also doesn't want to get stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. Metal still has, like, each limb represents one element. Like, his left shoulder's a cliffside with a tree growing out of it. Right shoulder's on fire. Uh, left knee is... It looks like it's growing coral or something off of it. And his uh, uh, right knee is... Uh, uh, would just look like just a bunch of clay deposits or iron deposits are hooked up into it. And he's integrated the, the brass... Uh, the brass scale mail in pretty much into his chest piece. That's just kind of there. No one, you notice that the ethereal fish that you keep seeing have congregated in a school around the metal's leg that looks like coral reef. <laughs> <laughs> just looking down at the leg curiously, like, huh? Hmm. Uh, yeah, before Zarius's sort of whole outfit looked like a like an amalgamation of things that he had like picked up from one battlefield to the next and so it was all sort of cobbled together like um as if none of these things actually belonged to him at some point and he was just making do scavenging and he looks very similar but now everything sort of matches in terms of color tone as a kind of uh more uniform bronze um set of of greaves and a breastplate and all that belt and all that he looks like a knight that has a job now Looks like it happened on purpose. Yeah. Yay. Wow. Wow. Does Davril still uh, look like a cowboy? Of course. He still looks like a cowboy. <laughs> He's definitely uh, a cowboy. Come on. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Like Eastwood now. Yeah, a little. Yeah, he, he goes a little bit more into the cowboy aesthetic. It's like the long uh, jacket he was kind of wearing. It's kind of short enough to be tight. Uh, a, a tighter jacket that doesn't go as far down. Uh, I think the colors originally was colors, but it's more dark, navy blue uh, esque. It has like cloud patterns over the jacket. Uh, definitely upgraded to his boots uh, as well, having similar uh, cloud uh, cloud patterns uh, and just these massive spurs as well. Uh, yeah, I think he just he goes fully into the motif. Uh, I think his his lamp also changes colors instead of just being gold. It's it's uh, more of a dark uh, darker color with like gold lining on certain parts of it. Yeah, if you look really closely, Davril's spurs are all shaped like the tines on his spurs are shaped like lightning bolts. It's pretty cool. Uh, Ian, the, the the feminine robe has once again turned into like kind of a lab coat, almost looking thing that has uh, 
almost a pattern that looks like uh, just like sand falling and gathering at the bottom of the like uh, coat, just perpetually going on. And then, uh, yeah, he's got a like a, ve- a clockwork-ish pattern on a vest underneath that, and uh, looks rather dapper. Please tell me the sunglasses you're wearing in real life appeared on the end. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> he went full time wizard. He went full yeah. like chronomage. I love it. Yeah. Embrace who you are, King. Uh, Tannis comes in and flops a map in the middle of the table because you all are having your dress up session um and um while Tannis is like rolling out the map uh and like putting out the little markers and all of that stuff Rishaya she flicks a finger and the tiniest cowboy hat appears on the top of Tannis's head don't forget Poppy Poppy, um, she's invisible, but she becomes visible when you say, what about Poppy? And Poppy looks exactly the same. Can't improve perfection. (laughs) Yeah. Not even like a unicorn horn, just like nothing. (laughs) (laughs) She touches her little fuzzy moth antenna. Aren't I supposed to love myself the way I am? I don't wear clothes. I cover her ears and and look at look at Cervantes accusingly. You realize I can read minds, right? Oh yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, cover your mind. Don't listen to Cervantes. You just hear in like the in the communal text or telepathy channel. Who's gonna? Who's going to tell her about what plastic surgery is? <laughs> I'm sure he reads no I cast shillelagh. <laughs> all the creatures are surrounding plastic? Poppy. Oh, boy. What is plastic? You um, mentioned plastic in my fucking... Uh, my <gasps> fucking... <laughs> presence? Oh, shit. Poppy scrambles across the, the map and knocks, like, four things over. They're kind of on purpose. Um, she tries to steal one of the thimbles that Tannis was using as a marker as she scurries past. She sits down in front of her shy and she goes, Can I be big? <laughs> like... Not like... But like... Like, person-sized? Humanoid? Yeah. I wanna be big. Rashaya has a has a very rare moment of like not sure if she should do this. <laughs> yeah. Am I this I... irresponsible? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I am. I give it a shot. I'm generally curious now. Metals turned her into a giant dragon. What could be- I saw that. That was impressive. To ascertain the cognitive capacity of Poppy. How old is she mentally? <laughs> mentally. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. As I'm watching, I'm like, what is- I'm like- Oh my god, she's almost like- almost, only like a few weeks old. Yeah. <laughs> she's- yeah. she's about yeah, a month. Hey, hey. Uh, she's probably- Dragon got, stage like... pass? Yeah, they do. They do. Um... She has probably got the same sort of emotional and decision-making capabilities of, like, a 15-year-old human. So, Lars. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rishaya rubs her hands together. <laughs> like, um... Nobody stops her. I'm not stopping her. I mean, I can't stop her. I'm watching with, Definitely like... Sure. 
I thought I'm watching her with a that. very curious intent. Like she, she, she can make her own choices. I guess she's, a, she's, she's grown. I she's got reprimanded grown. the last time I tried to stop Rashaya to do from doing something. Yeah. She touches Poppy, and it's a really weird moment where, for a brief second, you see a, a full-grown dragonborn sitting on the table. Um, mm. still very thin and bright orange and butterfly wings and the like the whole poppy but humanoid and buck ass naked because mm. she wasn't wearing any clothes um, we did talk about that yeah uh, and you see that for like a brief moment and then you see like weird little bits of like static coming off the edges um and then, like, a little curl of a blue and purple vine around the edges. And she goes back to her normal size. Try looks at her fingers, looks at Poppy. Do it again. I missed it. I blinked. <laughs> I don't think. That I will. I don't. There seems to be an incompatibility between the sort of magic I'm using here and this little creature. Oh, right. I think she touches a little bell around Poppy's neck. She's a. Uh... You should be careful where you make arrangements, little one. Where does she? I uh, lean over to Ian. Where does she go when she's poof? Feywild. Oh. I don't get it. <laughs> Did, did they? Was I told about the arc, the the whole thing? I feel like Davril was told. I don't remember if it was passed along. It was passed along. Uh, yeah. 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 Um. Just assume any any adventures that happen while Ian is a pocket pocket watch. Poppy immediately tells him everything. Like as soon as he's human again. Like even if you're in the middle of doing something. <laughs> yeah. So, um, incompatibility. Why is that? Well, you don't... It's, I, I guess it might be impolite to talk to multiple people, that's one way to put it. It's, oh. it's. I think it's kind of like how Davril is Rashaya's bitch. I think <laughs> Poppy in some ways, like... What's that? Right. What's Poppy, what's it's your friend's name again? I mean, I... We don't... Well, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Poppy, what's what's the name of your friend again? Yeah, t t t yeah, Titiana. Um, she's she, Poppy is Titiana's bitch. Huh? Right? Is that is that how it works, Devil? No, is that how it works? No, no. Rishai is nodding. Looks at Devil. Rishai. I don't think like Poppy's anyone's bitch. She's her own dragon. Well, like yeah. you, you, she gives you powers, and then you're subservient to her when she scolds you or whatever. I mean, you're her bitch. Yeah. I mean, she has she she's use. she's more powerful than you. I mean, true, yes, but I mean, like, I mean. Uh, and like, if you piss her off, she can take away your powers. I mean, could could you not? That would be I'm bad. Just... Oh, okay. But then you you wouldn't have as much fun with his powers, right? But like, it's like if da like Rashia, what would you do if Dav? Rashia, what would you do if Davril went up to like uh, Tidiana and and tried to like do what he does with you? What? You ever seen a Tesla coil? No. What's what's a Tesla coil? And 
Uh, shock uh, yeah, she shocks him. <laughs> <laughs> shocks shock two. <laughs> 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 it Why? Like it, it, it's just a little bit like getting like a hand buzzer, you know, like a practical joke, but lightning curls up around him. Do I see a skeleton like kind of? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. Just why? And then I look at, and then look at no one. <laughs> hey. Either way, Poppy, uh -huh. I think if you want to be big like us, you you may have to ask Tatiana. No, I. If you want to. Up to you, but she I'm very intrigued. It, she disappears. <laughs> She's like too overwhelmed by having critical thinking. <laughs> she just disappears. <laughs> You know. I can see her still. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, she scrambles inside of Ian's coat and I was then gonna... down around the side and into his into his bag. Oh, I was gonna try to pick her up and put him on Ian's shoulder. <laughs> I I don't think she's, she's ready. Fast. <laughs> I'm just watching her like. Oh. <laughs> I don't think she's ready for that question yet. Tannis clears her throat. Right. If you all have done playing dress up. <laughs> um, it was a good time, but I think I get your point that we should get going now. So how many of you can breathe underwater? I don't breathe. Convenient? I can hold my breath for a long time. Yeah, what if we had a canoe and we held the canoe upside down and walked across the ocean are you proposing, floor? Are you proposing <laughs> that we cut Pirates of the Caribbean? I mean, it's a solution. <laughs> and I have a canoe. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's one of the realities. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> 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 is, this, is this what happens, Ian, when you finally get laid? He's <laughs> <laughs> very happy, They're happier than normal. He has not stopped smiling, I did notice that. Yeah. Uh, Bubbles is purple. <laughs> just like, just like, <laughs> you ever seen a blue person blush? She's just purple. Uh, so, here, two points. Uh, Tannis points to. We'll go to the map. The map. The map. The map. The map. <laughs> Fire. Yeah, so you all are. <laughs> on... Everything's on fire. So you all are over here. Everything is fire. This is so. Here. This is the gold spire up here. There is. An underwater tunnel. That extends from. This lighthouse point here. Into the monastery. Hmm. Yes. That sounds like our way out. But... It's underwater. Uh -huh. It's underwater, so there's that. Okay. Uh, didn't too bad. Didn't we have like a submarine lobster thing? We sold it. it. We I, sold it. I might have a way uh, to get us in. Just for those who need to breathe, it might be something. Well, like the tunnel is mostly uh, airtight, like. The last time I was there, it was structurally sound. But you don't think it is anymore? 
Well, it's been about 15 years. Oh, that could... Yeah, that's that's enough for the waves to do their thing. I do not know how much, if any, um, maintenance has been performed on these tunnels. I don't actually even know if the cowled wizards know about these tunnels. Maybe we could ask them someone? I do recall, um... Up you that she spoke to a, a wider dragon. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I believe the dragon was supposed to be our distraction. Also, convincing it to attack people in the name of gold is not the same as it transporting us. Although I do have an equally stupid idea, and by stupid I mean ingenious. It's one of my famous Cervante. It's one of my favorite Cervante ideas. Does oh God! Laxatives. Do we really want to hear this? Look, we have metal here. Metal. Can you turn yeah. into a whale? Oh no! We're going to pull a yes. Nemo. What if we all pile inside of the whale? Whale We're metal. Like Nemo. And then. I could only. I could only turn into a killer whale. So three. <laughs> How many people can you fit in a killer whale's mouth? None. None. <laughs> well, okay. if there's pieces, <laughs> yeah, pieces, yeah. <laughs> As I stated earlier, I might have a lamp. Well, a certain amount of us fit in said lamp. Also, so we just have metal carry us to location. Canoe? <laughs> or the canoe. Just because I can do this at will, uh, I, I cast Alter Self, and Muddle's, like, normally featureless face just splits open into, like, sharp, jagged teeth. I I can't really change it from... I, I only have sharp teeth. So. Well, that's horrifying. It, that's me closing his draw back. Leave it there. <laughs> yeah. So. We could get to the lighthouse point pretty easily. I think that all of the pieces, places of contention between here and there have been taken care of. Do you think they're partying or doing something else? They're probably doing lots of drugs. I... Tannis looks at you and is trying to decide if you're serious or not. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the... What, I've been trying to figure out what the enemy's plan has been this entire time. It seems they wanted to control nothing but ashes. Well... Perhaps you... Could ask them? My... current assumption is it has something to do with, uh... Uh, bringing Loth into the plane or something like that. There's a lot of Loth going on, and I don't like spiders, and I don't Did remember he... a lot, but... Coffee, it, uh, Subri coughs a spider onto the table. Aren't there literally spells to, like, spy on people? Didn't they notice us last time, though, when we spied them? Yeah, we, they did. Yes. Bubble says, I can scry. But also, do we really need to know? The only person that I think I could I know well enough to scry on is... Let's not traumatize you until we get there. Dick? Ooh. If I could, I don't think I ever really met his wife. Generally don't advertise that you're married to a drow matriarch. Well, we don't really need to overthink this, do we? We take the tunnel if the tunnel doesn't work. Uh, we improvise. Everyone, everybody hops in Davro's lamp and metal and no one become our the little underwater scooters. Yeah. yeah. Greg, who's been very quiet. 
and sort of just staring at the map. He points at the gate to the gold spires. We could take a ground force in here and distract from your approach. Do you have enough troops for that? Talking to Hand Dog and Subri while you all were shopping. Yeah. There are a handful of mages left, a handful of thieves left. There's me. Points at Minky. I. I don't want to put you on a suicide mission. That what you're doing? That is what I'm doing. Seems. To... Greg rubs at this double on his chin. I realize that I've come by the nickname fucking Greg, honestly. But this is at least one thing that I'm pretty sure about. You got balls, Greg. I All right. That, that's generally how biological sex works. Um, but if we... It's better to attack an enemy from two fronts if they're not expecting it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You may have a dragon coming to back you up. So there's that, at least. The little one? Uh, uh Poppy? Yeah. No. No, oh, she made... Like... She made a friend in the River District. Like... Like, a, oh. an adult dragon. Oh. Well, that already sounds better. I'll take Minky and some ground troops. We'll make our way to that lighthouse and then uh, through the tunnel underneath. I can cast water breathing as a ritual, though. So there's that if we need it. Probably should just do that preemptively. Yeah. Is it concentration? Um, is this like a proper assassination mission? Like, are we just gonna get in there and then fuck shit up? Or are we gonna, like, focus fire a particular person? I will be honest with you. Um, <coughs> I am not really against anyone, but uh, I'm going to take Richard's head and put it on my staff. For something, someone who doesn't have gender necessarily, you are really misunderstanding who is actually in charge. I know, and that's why I'm going to be, uh, uh, uh hopefully Davril will be able to take her down. Wait, what? Who? Marika? What? Yeah. You're gonna face off with her again. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe there's things we shouldn't say. <laughs> I have no idea who that person is. I mean, like, we're 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 killing people in there. We're yeah, we're, we're just gonna go in there to kill anyone. You know, like we we don't. All I know is rich specifically, but no one else. Uh, uh, I know you want to kill every Salem chant in there, and I point to to Cervantes. It, whoever is sitting close enough to Madame Flowers, um, he, she looks outwardly very put together, no reaction. She is willfully not perceiving the bullshit that's just happened. Um, yeah, but um, 
if you are sitting close enough to her, you can hear her back teeth grind together a little bit. Well, I know this is why I have a negative one charisma. Ooh. I gotta not open my fucking mouth. <laughs> what just uh, happened? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'd, I would like everyone to remember for a moment who Bubbles' dad is. Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Rich. Oh. Dad. The yeah, Dick the, is. Yeah. Dick's the Dickster. Is yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, uh, the plan is so far get inside, kill every Salem chant we see. Probably every drow we see. I feel like that's racist a little bit. Um, Maybe. Maybe. I mean, they did kind of. They are tr kind of trying to bring their evil goddess into this world. Well, uh, do we. Uh, aside from Lismora. Do we. Do, do we know oh. any other notable cowled wizard threats? Maybe we ask Subri. Subri! <laughs> Wait. Right here, yes. Subri. What other cowled wizards do you have to worry about? Of note? Yeah, surely Lismora showed you, like, her little, her little posse. <laughs> These are my boys. <laughs> say, hi, say hi, boys. <laughs> my, uh, my boys, the gang. <laughs> no, in fact, I was... She modified my memory so that I wasn't aware of that she was Cald wizard, and thus she didn't necessarily brag about being a cald wizard to me. These <laughs> aren't my boys. <laughs> they have uh, boys. Uh, can, can, can we got Stabbing Steve, Thieving Terry, and T Greg. Tannis is looking at the map and looking at you all. Tannis is a mastermind rogue, and she's looking at this plan that she's put together <laughs> that she's trying to like complete it with. Look, we've never, like, completed a plan. I mean, like, we just kind of go in and things either work out, or... You know, you know the phrase, uh, the plan never survives the enemy? Well, our plans never survive us. We're the enemy. <laughs> We're the enemy. We are our own worst enemies. Honestly, we are. It's... Uh... You, you guys haven't been planning all this up until now? I thought you guys were the heroes of the city. Oh, no, no. No, we've, we've honestly just luck. Honestly, it's straight up luck. It's not luck. <laughs> up until about <laughs> what is it? Up until about four days ago, I was just out for blood. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You're not out for blood anymore. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I am still out for blood, but like, I'm in the same boat with you, Zarius. That was the fine for but, survival. you know, I got some morals along the way. What? You have morals? What? No. Better now than never, I, I guess. Dame L'Oreal was a bad influence on me. And yeah, Lars. A little, a little notebook. It's, like, obnoxiously small. <laughs> I it. Dead. Dead. As far as I'm aware, most of the cowed wizards of note are dead or shoved in a hole. Oh. So what you're saying is this should be a piece of cake. Well, I don't have a particularly accurate count as to the lost worshippers that are in there. But at the very least, Marika, and she has at least Dick and one other consort with her for sure. Um, not to be rude as much, but I do believe your knowledge to be true, but maybe she, no one told you as much as they thought you needed to know, especially since this more kind of Ditched you back there too, along with me. Uh, th this is Tannis, who is a uh, used her spy. That's all she has for her spy network. Mm. Um, 
Subri has no idea. Yeah. She's oh. busy blowing spiders out her nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Listen. So you got the, she got the arachnophobia. Yeah. Subri is having a very hard time being good. Man, this whole smarts business is, like, really tough, because, like... Man... You know what I mean? Like, we... It's like, let's go charge in there, and it's like, well, don't be stupid. We need to have a plan. It's like, alright, well, who are we up against? We don't know. How many people? We don't know. And it's like, okay, well then, I'm just gonna go charge in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. I think guys, there... you, you guys, why don't we just go in the front gate? That's what I said to Greg, and I mean, he thought that it was a good idea, and so that's what we's doing. And then you guys can do your sneaky thing up the backside, and then we just kill everything once we get in there, right? It sounds like we've already yeah. made the plan. Right. I thought we had a plan. Tannis, do we have a plan? Uh... Yes. <laughs> Is this you guys' first plan, or? Honestly? I'm just... I think so. I, it's it's probably the most sound. Fucking <laughs> 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 yes, Tannis. We have a plan. Um, Look, everything works out to me. Probably. I guess one thing that I, I found myself taken aback when we faced Liz Mora was I didn't and I haven't quite understood what the Cow Blizzards and the Selim Chants are up to. They've leveled more than half of the city. They've killed countless, and many others have fled. By the time this is over, there won't be much of a city to save. Why? What are they doing this for? If it were for power, well, wouldn't they use their money in their politics? Why resort to this? I, I guess something doesn't line up, and it's been bugging me. I have a feeling that's going to be a surprise for us once we get there. Pardon me, wants to believe they just wanted to watch the city burn. I don't think that the Salim Chants have been in charge for a very long time. And I've begun to doubt that the Cald Wizards have been in charge. Have you ever heard of there are these wasps that lay eggs inside other egg creatures, slugs, caterpillars, other bugs. Tarantula wasps. And they, their larvae take over the creature and steer it around and give it just enough just enough of itself to still breathe and function and live long enough to incubate the larvae and then when it's done with them it eats its way out Dabro, yep. are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a race of spider that does that too. That's still quite the assumption. But... I, I have, uh, Tannis rubs uh, rubs her hand across the where she had a gaping stomach wound the day before yesterday. <laughs> um, I've had my hand on the pulse of this city since I was a kid in one way or another, and it hasn't always been like this. I mean, it was shitty, but it was Never this normal, bad. normal shitty. It wasn't apocalyptic shitty. And as far as I could tell, as far as as far as my father could tell, it all changed when Richard Salim Champ brought home his new bride. Slowly, a little bit. You know, it's like the 
I'm so tired of talking in aphorisms. Uh, you know, you know how you boil a frog. Excuse me. Slowly. Yeah. Well, eat this. I hand everybody like a. Uh, uh, it looks like a squishy piece of like. Uh, uh, of uh, <laughs> underwater sponge, like like uh, sea like, sponge. <laughs> like sea sponge. And everyone who ate it can now breathe water. Oh. I'm not going to grow gills, am I? Okay. No, you're not going to grow you, gills. You feel gills on the side of your neck. I don't know. Is that <laughs> some... I get there in the neck. Cervantes, yeah. I think I can hold my breath now. Holy shit. Let's have a... Let's have a breath-holding contest. <laughs> Alright, there's still... You still require oxygen. <laughs> Just, let's just do, let him do he's it. Already <laughs> holding his breath. He's already holding his breath. He's yeah. Which one of you has the highest let... con modifier? I'm gonna hold Cervantes' skills across his neck. Like I pour some water. Cervantes' <laughs> 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 <It's> skills. <laughs> Plus four. Yeah, roll a con save. Oh, a con save. Oh, what did you do? Oh, just con straight con. I did a con oh, check. I just rolled con. Yeah, if you both rolled, if you both rolled straight con, that's fine. <laughs> as long as you rolled the same thing. Yeah, uh, Cervantes, you are. You feel like you're doing a really great job, and then you, Ian pours water across where you think you might be growing gills, and you go because <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold, and and then Zarya sweats. Fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> We're bros now. We are bros. <laughs> 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 um, very quiet in the back of the room while all of this is going on. Um, is Camilla in her platinum dragon armor? arms crossed across her breastplated chest. Are you all going to die if you don't have somebody there to bless you? The chances of us not dying go down if we did have someone to bless us. I mean, I was going. I just didn't know if I should go with Greg on the front line or with you all. Team back door. I know what I said. <laughs> Team back yeah. door. Yeah. Hands in. Bubbles already has slapped her hand in. <laughs> <laughs> Team Bubbles like likes a butt sex joke. Uh, Boys. Uh, <laughs> Camilla slaps her hand on top. Eat this. She holds out her tongue like she's taking communion. <laughs> <laughs> she's with you. <laughs> it tastes like a lemon drop. You guys are good. <laughs> well, not when you're expecting it to taste like salt water. Mm. Uh, so... You all uh, can traverse the city. Just like that? Uh, yeah. yeah. We have a magic carpet. Yeah, you have a magic carpet. You traverse the city by air. Um, you reach the lighthouse point. Um, and Tannis, you expect to be let in through a door or something. Um, and what Tannis does is go around the back side of the lighthouse and, and she's sort of rubbing her hand across it looking for something in particular and she finds what looks like a bit of thieves can scrawled on a brick and she pushes in on the brick and it falls inside the lighthouse she puts a hand inside and opens a door that basically descends directly down to the cellar. I would like someone to roll me a d20 to see whether or not 
the tunnel is sound. Sounding. <laughs> it is. It's a sound tunnel. Ah. It is a sound tunnel. It is a sound tunnel. And so, and I don't know if I've ever I, seen one. I'll get you here. Uh, this building <laughs> has a roof on it in the map, but it, you are inside of the building. You're not <laughs> on the roof. Uh, on the roof, you are inside the building. <laughs> uh, and uh, you. I fought with that for like an hour trying to get Poppy to be on top and it wouldn't work. I, I, I don't know. Um, so it takes probably it takes longer than you really would have liked for this to for you to get there. I would say it's probably a solid 45 minutes to an hour of walking through this cramped, damp, dark tunnel. Um, and then you emerge inside what looks like just like a groundskeeper's cabin. Hmm. It doesn't look like anyone has lived there for a while, but it's just like a homey little building. Uh, All right. Oh, guys, this feels so cool. We're like on a proper mission. Away from here. Or... What do you mean a proper mission? <laughs> and I would say it is if you waited, it would not be very long until you heard um, the sounds of combat hmm. from your uh, frontal assault force. That was quick. Is Poppy, this? Yeah. I was gonna ask. Could you contact your dragon friend and tell him we're hitting the... We're, we're here. What's the... Tannis, what's the thief, thief speech for, like, hitting a vault or, like, like doing, doing a thief? A heist? A heist. A heist? <laughs> I don't think that this is a heist, but I gather your meaning well enough. Um, Poppy's like, okay, um, I said okay, help. Yeah, I know, it's been a lot longer than I said it would be. I'm sorry. We had to do, like, a lot of human stuff, and I know, I know a whole building disappeared and then came back. Um, and then there are a bunch of clones of my friend, and everybody's got really cool clothes. But anyway, we're doing a heist? Oh, no, no, the thing that we talked about where we, like, you went to the gold spires and you stole all the things and killed a bunch of people and stole all their jewels and goods and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, now. What? Please? Okay. He was finishing lunch. He's coming. Okay. Okay. That's good. You all had a very busy morning. It's like <laughs> noon o'clock. <laughs> noon o'clock. We strike noon. at noon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they're just after they've eaten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wants to Yeah. After they're drunk yeah. off of their brunch mimosas. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant <laughs> move. I am going to, because I'd like to give you a thing to think about. I'm going to give you a thing to think about, because we're going to end here. Think about it. Yeah. Here, that's what it looks like without dynamic lighting. Whoa! Oh! Oh, oh, shit. oh there's Shadow Kelp! Neat. Yeah. This seems fine. This is yeah, they're fine. good. This is good. They're good. They're, this is good. they're, good. they're, they're good. fine! They're it's okay. not that there's a whole other map. Nah. Uh, not. Oh, it. there's it. a second. There's a second. Nah. No. You know, yeah. who, you know who you didn't see on there? Mini Drow. Nah. The wizard just goes in and just goes maybe... stop sword cut everybody. We're fine. Yeah, maybe the Drow are just sleeping right now. Right, Ian? This is their bed. Yeah, that's how it goes every time. 
it but just you zips, see zips in the future. <laughs> it just zips up. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> I just do a zip zap up, and then it's all yeah. done. The zip zap up. A zip zap up. Yes. So Tannis has come with you. The frontline team consisted of Minky, Subri, fucking Greg, Hand Dog, and then some red shirts. I have named them uh, very cleverly, like Red Shirt Warrior, Red Shirt Mage, Red Shirt Rogue. How would you feel if we casted Pass Without a Trace and just bypassed this whole battle you set up? <laughs> I doubt we can do that. Well, I don't know that it would go any better for you. Um, I'll tell you that, that Dick's on this map. And so I is Faze. And so is Faze Salemchan. Well, that that's that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's almost like I thought, man, I have a second map. How do I get the most impulsive person not to rush off to the second map? <laughs> All right, guys, go on. I'll catch up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you kill them, don't scream your name this time. Oh, do. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. Definitely screaming my name. But you'll be there too for Richard's, Richard, so, you know. Yeah. 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 So I did give my bosses legendary resistances this time. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Right. See how many times they resist being grappled. <laughs> they have ten legendary resistances. No. I'm very excited for layer actions, though. Oh. Oh. Man. oh. Layer actions. Layer actions. They're uh, fun. Yeah, Spicy. I'm excited. Uh, so we'll call that here on the precipice of the final battle. Unless you all want to do the time fuckery. You all want to do the time fuckery battle. I'm fuckery. Yes, there's a time fuckery battle after that. That's the special. Let's that's the special do the time warp again. Yes. <laughs> the secret, the secret, <laughs> Wait, the secret is the ending, you all go to Frankenfurter's castle, and you do you put on drag, um, and then there are aliens. Then there are aliens. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know why we opened up with that. <laughs> or why we didn't open up with that. I know, I should have opened with the, the cross-dressing aliens. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next time. It's not too late, Jen. <laughs> no, no, it's true. It's true. So, yeah, we're almost done. We've got this. And it's then, all uh, kicking off. Extra secret sauce. And extra that's it. Secret sauce. Woohoo! Yeah, secret sauce. Yeah! Ian, I think you have to, or not Ian, uh, Harrison, I think you, I think, I think we need you to commit to the sunglasses for the rest of the campaign. I know, yeah. It's the look upgrade in real life. I like to think that Ian is... you also continue to grow, like, the villain, the villain goatee? <laughs> Shave this off and leave the goatee. Yeah, villain goatee and sunglasses. Mm -hmm. I like to think yeah. that Ian has just gone full Matrix. Just like, yeah, <laughs> I love it. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. If he starts, if he starts getting blue boy dreads and wearing mesh, we might have a problem. Yeah. Also. Time wizard, bullet stop, or bullet motion, or whatever the fuck it's time. called. Bullet time, you know? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lars was here to shoot me. I can shoot you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> For old time's sake. <laughs> um, Davril, were you going to give that loot to Bubbles? Uh, yes, I was. Bro, uh, the guys. Dual, dual loot. <laughs> yeah, so, do it. Uh, but I would give it to her. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, your mom was very supportive of you. She won. How he would he would give it to her. Ah, so he would he would lie. He would lie. I, I would lie. 
Okay. Right, like um, a little deception. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did you roll? Like close the map. Twenty-five. Oh. Holy fuck. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Bubbles is suspicious, but still believes you. Yeah, this is like hey, mother told me that uh, she's supportive of you, and I just want you to have this. I will leave it at that. Don't beg me. Thank you. Thank you much. All right. Time to fight. <laughs> All right. Time to fight. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to roll this just because I have not rolled it and I want to. I just want to see. Because Bubbles has a plus 15 to deception oh and I just wanted to see how she would roll. <laughs> <laughs> ah, degrees. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. They're like, you could have expertise. And I was like, she is, she's a theater kid. She has expertise in deception, performance, persuasion, and acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I, did I mention playing Fard in Baldur's Gate 3? Bard in Baldur's Gate 3 is a blast. <laughs> Dude, I, I experimented with Bubbles to see if I wanted to take levels in Sorcerer. Um, just to see. Mm -hmm. uh, but just like the straight glamour bard is so fucking good I was like <laughs> it just makes it worse <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's the worst version <laughs> um, but yeah let me look at next Tuesday is the that is the 15th I have nothings, so we should be at our regularly scheduled time. Same bat time. To let, yeah, to let the ass kicking begin. Yay! Yay! Are you kicking? Yay! Wait, who's ass? Yeah, yeah, wait, who's that? Ours or the there? Uh, EVD. Oh, rats. Of this is the Find final boss. Of course, it's going to be our ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why I. Camilla's a level 18 cleric. Woo! Yeah. Nice. In the video. Yeah. Mmm. I need to go past her. Bye! Yeah. Bye! See you next time. Bye! Bye! See you. See you.